It's time for coaches comments being brought to you by Southside Auto Tech after the Stars fall at the hands of the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders tonight. I'm Joel Norman and we're joined by the head coach of the Stars, Rocky Russo. And Rocky, this was a game where it was really physical throughout. We saw that kind of coming through a lot in the second period as well. And it seemed like that, that was something you've been wanting from this team a lot. It just didn't work out in your favor, the final score. Yeah, I mean, we finished a check and, and then the guy that finished the check got jumped and somehow that's not an instigator penalty. I guess I don't really understand the instigator rule because three weeks ago the, the same thing happened and, and our guy jumped their guy and our guy got an instigator penalty. So um, it's hard when the, when the uh, rule book isn't, isn't applied the same way all the time. It's tough for the guys to understand what to expect night in and night out. Um, but, but none of that matters. I mean, at the end of the day, for the sixth time this year, I guess, or maybe even the seventh time, we beat ourselves. We beat ourselves. Uh, we had multiple chances on the second goal to get the puck out. We didn't do it. Um, all we have to do is stay on our feet on the rush, the, on the, the entry, and instead we decided we're going to lay down, and, and uh, that makes it 2-1, and then we turn a puck over at the offensive blue line. And... Uh, you know, it's not from a lack of us telling them you got to turn the D's feet, you got to put pucks behind them, you got to go touch them. Like, just some stubborn guys down there, and and uh, they're they're pretty stubborn right now, and and unfortunately, it's costing us lo uh, losses. You did get a big power play goal early on from Garmon Yavash, his second goal of the season, and he was a guy who you've inserted on the power play this year, and he cashed in there. What did you like about that first power play of the game you got? I thought we did a really good job of, of making the pass early to the goal line and, and uh, you know, attacking. We had some options. Yavi popped into the right spot and, and nice pass and, and good finish. What's the biggest goal heading into the next week? You've talked a lot about beating yourselves. What are some other things you're focusing on uh, against uh, Green Bay next weekend? We can't beat anybody when you only score one goal a game. I think that's pretty uh, uh, obvious. So... Um, you know, until we figure out a way to score three or four goals a game, we're not going to have very much success. And, you know, I, I feel bad for Lucas Massey. I thought he played really well tonight and, and gave us a chance to win. And, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we had, a, we had two breakaways. We had a point-playing chance in the third. We had a, a couple other legitimate opportunities on rebounds. Like, at some point, someone's got to decide to shoot the puck in the net. That's the whole point of the game. And, and uh I can do a lot to help them, but I can't shoot it in the net for them. That's on them. So uh, there's, a, there's a level and an expectation of execution from these guys that, that until we find a way to get there, we're going to keep getting these same results. Well, Rocky, we appreciate the time. We'll talk to you next weekend in Green Bay. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Stars, Rocky Russo, and this has been Coach's Comments brought to you by Southside Auto Tech.